I was sitting in an interview for a position. A board was getting ready to make a major change. Uh, at the time, I was not a pastor. I was a business owner. I had been a business, been owning my own business for about 10 years at the time. All of the predecessors for the uh, director position that they were interviewing me for, all of my predecessors had all been pastors. And they had said, you know what? We, our organization has never really been successful. And perhaps it's because instead of a pastor, maybe we need somebody that's more of a business head, but with a ministry heart. And so I was being interviewed for this position. Um, the interview ended up being about four hours long. I've never been interviewed that long for a position before. Four hours. And then when they finally said, can you step out of the room? We're going to pray about this. I stepped out into the room, uh, into the lobby, and I was out there for about 60 seconds. And then they said, okay, we prayed. It was a unanimous vote. We want you to be in this position. And I said, Okay, I had been praying about it too, and I felt good with that. So I was getting ready to pack up my stuff and leave, and they said, oh, before you leave, we're just getting ready to go over the budget. Could you sit down and uh, go through the budget with us? This is, um, it was the, uh, about September 20th, 25th. It was right near the end of September, and they pull out uh, a financial report, and this is the first financial report I've seen for this organization. And they said, we are projecting for this year that has three months and a week left, an $80,000 loss for this year. What are you going to do about it? That was the first time I've ever looked at this thing. And I said, I don't know. I'm sure there's something. I'll get back to you. I had about a two-hour drive back home, and I was like alternating through all of these emotions back and forth. I'm like, okay, God, I thought that you you know, were directing me here, but this organization is going to go bankrupt three months into my tenure and I'm going to be done and on to something else. What am I? And I can't like keep my business going and try to work at this place for the next three months just to kind of hedge my bets in case. And then finally, after, you know, I kind of complained for about half of my trip back home, I just kind of felt the Holy Spirit saying to me, I chose you for this. I chose you. The fact that God chose me should be the thing that gives me confidence. But for me, the thing that gives me hum humility is that God chose me. Why me? Out of all the people that could be picked, there's got to be somebody else that's better qualified, that has more skills. Maybe somebody who's taken a organization that's about to go over the, the, the edge of the cliff. They're about to go bankrupt. Maybe there's some other people that have, have taken those kind of organizations and turned them around before. I've never done that before, so why me? That's the humility part. And this is the, the attitude that I think serves shepherd leaders well is to keep going back in those moments that when you say, I want to throw in the towel here because I, this is just not going very well to remind, remind yourself, God chose. And then when you, things are going well and you're like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, then you say, well, God chose me. Uh, you know, I didn't do this. He did it through me. He, he used me, but it was ultimately him who did it. And so this balance will keep you in the right place.